Hi, this is Steve Hill with AIQ Systems. Just wanted to give you an update on the market timing expert system within the Trading Expert Pro. Last night was the very last day, of course, of August 831. We did have a expert signal to the downside on 827. And this is kind of like the third signal we've had over the last three months to the downside. A lot of these signals are being driven by the breadth of the market information. The chart you're looking at here shows the advanced decline oscillator, which is the oscillator measuring the number of advances versus declines, and also the advanced decline line. Both of these indicators give her a measure of the participation of the breadth of the New York market. As you can see, the Dow Jones has been making its way higher, while both of these indicators have actually fallen away, both the AD line and the AD oscillator. If we have also a look at the uh, high-low indicator, stocks making new highs versus new lows, this has also plateaued and begun to roll over again. So that expert system rating of 99 to the downside on 827 uh, was generated based upon the characteristics of the breadth of the market. So when I click on the ER button here, notice the two things that are driving this. The first one, the intraday high prices of the market, that's the Dow Jones, have increased to a 21-day high. Nevertheless, the advanced decline oscillator is negative. This unusual event is read as a very strong bearish signal, and that is often followed by a downward price movement. And the same on the second one, intraday high prices of the market have increased to a 21-day high, but the up-down volume oscillator is negative. Uh, in this uptrending market, this is taken as a very strong bearish signal that is often followed by downward price movement. So both of those rules that fired have made it very clear that the breadth of the market is not following along uh, with the actual price index itself. Now, of course, um, Apple made up a significant chunk of the Dow Jones price-based index uh, up until yesterday when things change on the Dow itself. So we'll be interested to see how this all pans out. Uh, the replacement stocks in the Dow itself that occurred, uh, along with Apple's split, we'll uh, see how that affects the price index and if it falls in line with the breadth as well. Uh, as we know, the breadth uh, of the market, both on the Dow and also on the NASDAQ, is being driven pretty heavily by the, the highly performing tech companies. And just to uh, wrap this up, here's a quick look at the phase indicator on the market as well. Uh, you'll notice that uh, the signal was on the 27th. I've moved the date forward to August the 31st. The phase was 4.14 today, and the phase of 4.14 on the 31st. It was 4.18 on the 29th. And on the 28th was 4.04, so it has turned down as of the 31st, which is considered a confirmed uh, 199 to the downside. That wraps it up. Thanks.